My internet's been acting up recently. I don't know why, but I'm going to make a quick video about... Well, first, my account got hacked on... on uh, well, my account got hacked, but I guess first what I'll say is uh, I did a TV show with Caitlin Hill on www.thestream.tv and I, you could probably still check it out. Let me check it out. You could download it from the website and watch it. It was great. It was so much fun to make. And people were watching it live. It was streaming and then they were uh, <coughs> sending us questions and we were answering the questions. Yeah, it's still there on the website. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, secondly though, my, my account got hacked. Somehow got hacked and They put up a video. Whoever hacked it, no one. They didn't do anything malicious. Like nothing got deleted, which is pretty cool. But they put up a video that I made to my old management company when I when they let me go. I made a video saying like, "It's okay. I, I'm not. I don't have any animosity." But they put that up online with a bunch of like a bunch of personal information and. I mean, I see personal information. I don't really care if people know the emails I send, but it had, like, other people's email addresses in the entertainment industry and all these... I don't know. Like, everyone has their own path. And then I took the video down, and now I feel kind of sick about taking the video down because what am I trying to hide? And I think that this is karmic retribution because I had just got iancrossland.org and iancrossland.net and I have the two websites and someone sent me a message on YouTube and it said, Ian, just so you know, your information's public. I can see your address and your phone number when I check out who it's registered to. You, you, you should make that private or you might want to make that private. And I, I thought about it and I went to it and it was like seven bucks a piece to make them private. So I made them private. And then I started thinking like, why did I make them private? What am I hiding from? Nothing. I'm not hiding. So then I see I make those things private, and then my account gets hacked, and, pub and private information or information of mine goes up online. Like it's the second time it's happened. Someone posted a comment with my zip code and my phone number, my home phone number, as a comment, and I just left that up. I don't know, I guess this is what internet fame is, is everyone's just going to know exactly who you are and where you live. Is this why people are so afraid of it? Is this what fame is, is that everyone just knows everything about you? You can't fight it. You can, but it's just going to be a, a fruitless effort. I bought a new microphone. It's a digital mic. I hope the volume is okay right now. I've been messing with the settings and it's turned up as loud as it can go, I think. So, I'm prepared for this, I guess. I changed my passwords on it. I think they went into my computer because they got a bunch of my stuff on my computer. That's the uh, the age we live in, man. You can't hide. Just gotta be open with it. So, whoever it was, if you, when you... Whoever created this video with all this stuff on it, I'm not angry. I just, I understand. It's not that you wanted to hurt me, but more that you want you know, you're testing me. I say, I'm talking about being open, and now you're saying, okay, if you're going to be open. But uh, tell you what, let me let me do it at, at my pace. You know, I, I won't expose other people's fears. I'll let them I expose their own, because that's the evolution that we go through. And I'll, 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 I'll put it all up. I'll put it all up, eventually. Okay, I'll see you later, guys.